the new Magic Keyboard might be just as big of an upgrade as the M4 iPad itself, if not a bigger one. While filming my M4 versus M2 iPad Pro video, go check that out, I realized just how much better the new Magic Keyboard is. I think it is criminally underrated, and I think more people need to be talking about how much better this one is over the previous generation. My iPad basically lives in the keyboard case. I very rarely use it without it. So to me, it is not only an essential accessory, but a quintessential part of the iPad experience. And I didn't know how much better that experience could get. The new keyboard is a complete overhaul. It has an anodized aluminum chassis, which elevates the build quality exponentially. It not only feels better, but it looks better too. And it puts it much more in line with a MacBook Pro keyboard. In comparison, the soft touch rubbery material of the old Old Magic Keyboard feels cheap. The typing experience is leagues better. I don't know exactly what Apple has done here, but bravo. The keys feel more solid and responsive. They aren't mushy in any way. The layout feels somehow bigger, and I'm not running into any issues while typing on the 11 inch version. The key travel just feels a lot more confident. The keyboard sounds better while typing too. The typing experience on this new keyboard feels like my MacBook Pro, and I love that. It no longer feels like a downgraded experience when I'm going from my MacBook to my iPad because they feel identical. The old keyboard just wasn't the best typing experience, and I think we all made the excuse that, oh, it's an iPad keyboard, therefore it can't feel amazing. But Apple proved us wrong, and now I'm wondering why we put up with such a poor keyboard for so many years. The backlight is a lot better on this keyboard as well. Look at how much more light is shining through the keys, how much brighter it is in a low light environment. That is so helpful when you're working in the dark. The new keyboard gets the function button row, which again brings it in line with a MacBook keyboard and makes the entire iPad experience so much better. You have so many more ways to do things on your iPad now just with one press of a button. You have a dedicated escape key, brightness controls, the app switcher view, spotlight, dictation slash Siri, do not disturb, playback controls, volume controls, and a lock button. The ones that I've used the most so far are the brightness and volume buttons, but I'm really appreciating the dictation and the lock buttons as well, and I have a feeling after WWDC, I'm gonna be using that dictation button a lot more often. The trackpad is also completely new. The old trackpad was a dive board mechanism, whereas this one is haptic, just like a MacBook. That means there's no actual moving mechanism, it's just a vibration that feels like a click, and I love it. It's significantly quieter to click too. Listen. The trackpad is also bigger. Not as drastic of a change as the 13 inch iPad, but this one is noticeably bigger as well. It's the same length, but wider, giving you more real estate to work with, drag things around, and truly not be a limitation to any kind of movement you may need on this iPad. The hinge feels more sturdy on this keyboard as well. When I open up the iPad, the hinge just feels a little tighter and more reliable compared to the previous version. Not that the old one was bad by any means, but this one just feels better. Because of the redesign, the iPad now sits further back on the keyboard, which is part of the reason why the function row is now able to exist. Because previously, the iPad would sit much more forward and you'd be having to reach underneath the iPad if there was an additional row of keys. I really like that it sits further back because it feels closer to a laptop. Because of that, the new keyboard now allows for different viewing angles and can turn back more than the previous generation. I know a lot of people, myself included, that would get annoyed at times when you're trying to push the iPad just that little bit further back to get that optimal viewing angle. It's still nowhere near a proper laptop, but it's better than the previous generation, and I really like it. The side charging port has also been improved. It is now able to take a higher wattage than before, which means there's less of a disparity between charging via the keyboard or via the iPad itself. You'll be able to charge faster and more reliably while keeping that side USB-C port available. And you'll want to do that because there is still no data transfer on this port, which is not surprising considering how it connects to the iPad. I know I keep saying that this keyboard feels like I'm using a laptop, but it really does. Every single part of this keyboard feels like I'm using my MacBook Pro, and I love that. Apple must have really wanted to get the experience right and just make sure that there was no downgrade from when you're going to a laptop to an iPad. 
and they've nailed it. Because the keyboard is the main way I like to use my iPad, it really elevates the entire experience. Now, some people might say that it's just a minor update and it's not a huge deal for them, but when you're using something every day, every time you use it, every hour, constantly typing on it, it makes a huge difference to the overall experience. I've even seen some articles and videos saying that this keyboard is so good, it's worth upgrading to just for that. I really wish that this was backwards compatible because all iPad users could really benefit from a keyboard of this quality and it really sucks that Apple has made it so only the new M4 iPad Pros are able to use and utilize this new keyboard because man, this is a huge upgrade and I wish more people could get it without having to buy a whole new iPad. That being said, if you were in the market for a new iPad and you were thinking about upgrading, this is a really good perk to have when you're doing that because now your whole experience is just that much better. And if you are on the fence, this might just be the thing that convinces you to upgrade because it is that good. I'd love to know what you guys have to say. Let me know in the comment section down below and drop a keyboard emoji if you've made it this far into the video so I know you're a real one. And if you made it this far, you might as well subscribe if you haven't already. My name is Mark Steiner and I will see you next time.